Hiya. In this video, I just wanted to cover a wee tip I stumbled across the other day while creating a document template for a client in Dynamics 365 for customer engagement. Um, so we'll start off as always just by looking at the problem. Um, the problem is I've been asked to create a Word document for a customer. Um, the Word document provided uh, by the customer has some specific formatting in it. It's actually a letter template so it's got some format in the body and it's got some images and non-standard header and footer um, items and they can be a bit difficult to um, transfer over from the, the template that you generate from in Dynamics 365 for customer engagement. It can be quite fiddly to copy the not just the, the, the text content and image content but the, the formatting as well. You can fiddle about with it for a while. So first of all I'll, I'll show you what the problem is and then I'll look at the solution. So if I open up the, the letter that I've got to create as a word template, um, I've replaced the header with, with my own, just as, as a sample letter. Um, and if we notice, this is an image up here. And you've got some content in the middle. And it's another big image down here. So this isn't actually text, this is an image that the client sent over. And we just want to quickly um, copy the content and the formatting into a document template. So I've already downloaded the document template from Dynamics 365. It's this account one. So I'll open up that. We can see that from the developer tab you've got the XML mappings pane with all the Dynamics 365 fields in it. Now what I would normally do um, is I would start copying the content over. So I'll start off with the header and the footer. So I would select all and copy and go over to our template and paste. Do the same with the footer. Select all, copy. Paste. And the same with the body. Paste that in there. Now if you look at this, the, there's, the space between the, the paragraphs is different because we've actually got two lines there. And we can, normally what I would do, I would start editing that to make it look as much like our template as possible which only has, it has a smaller um, line gap there also our footer is all out of line and again that could take quite a bit of time to fiddle about with and get it in line so we can do it by changing images here and moving it down but it just isn't quite right, and that could—I mean, this isn't too complicated. But you could have quite a, quite a, a kind of com, a, quite a bad or a non-standard um, word document or letter that you'd have to fiddle about with and get all the the formatting right on your template. So now that we've seen what the problem is, how do we make things a bit easier on ourselves to get the the format exactly right in the document template? Well, what I found is. That you can save the uh, original document as a template in Word and then from the developer tab you can actually change uh, the template of the document that you generated from Dynamics 365 for customer engagement. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now. So what I found that you could do is you could save your original letter as a template by going to File, Save As, we'll browse to a location on our hard drive What we want to do, we want to save it as a dot, dot .x, which is a word template. Now notice it automatically changes the directory here. We'll put it back to somewhere where we know we can find it. So that's it saved now as a word template, and you can see the name at the top is sample letter dot, dot .x. So we don't need to use that anymore. If we open up our document template that we generated from Dynamics 365 for 
customer engagement. And um, I noticed this document template tool in the developer tab. If you click on that, you can change this normal template. I think Word uses normal dot dot as its default template. And if we browse to where we saved our, or our own template, our new template, sampleletter.x, we can change the template of that. Now I, I, I also checked automatically update document styles. And you click OK. And that now uses our, um, our, our letter as a template for our new document uh, template. And then when we start copying over the header and the footer, which I'll do now, So just in the same way as we did previously. Just copy and paste that into it. The right place. It always adds a, a line break at the bottom for whatever reason, so you can get rid of that. And we'll copy the body as well. And if you notice, our header, our footer, and our body is now all in the same format as our original um, letter that was our original sample that was sent in and provided by our customer. We don't need to start messing about with the the rulers at the top here or any of the, the line breaks it's just exactly the same and then we can save that and upload that to our uh, as a document template as a word template into Dynamics 365 and it behaves just like any other document template so that's it for that quick tip and um, there may be a better ways of doing it and um, there may be easier ways that other people use maybe I'm just going off on a tangent and um, spending ages correcting my formatting and um, but I found that to be to be very helpful it'll hopefully hopefully help me so hopefully help other people as well and um, as always you can get me on Twitter at per platformer and um, YouTube is youtube.perplatformer.com and my website is www.perplatformer.com bye